Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So late on Friday, Microsoft rolled out their latest dev channel build to the insiders in the Windows 11 Insider program, build 23531. And just a quick video just to keep you posted if you are interested in new features that are in their early stages of development in the Insider program. Now, um, for last week's dev channel build, uh, there's not much new, except for a significant change where I'm moving forward now and going forward now from build 23531, Windows system components will now use the default browser to open links instead of using Microsoft Edge by default, which has um, received a lot of criticism um, in the past, where if you are clicking on system components, it will open up in Edge, as an example, instead of in Google Chrome. But just take note, though, that this change only occurs if your machine is set to the EEA, that's European Economic Area, um, if you are in the dev channel. So just take note of that. So just to put that all into context, currently in the stable version, as an example, if we head over to our system page and we click on a system component and we just head down to where we see a couple of links. So what happens now in the stable version, if you click on those um, those system component links, as an example, those links open up in the Edge browser by default. And that's where this significant change is going to uh, must probably change that in the future, where if you click on those system component links, in the future, it'll open up those um, links in your default browser, as an example. In my case, I've set mine to Google Chrome, which I think is a nice move uh, in the right direction, as I would always say. Now, another um, kind of key change, um, they are reintroducing the search experience for the search fly out when you hover over the search box Gleam. Now, this is a feature that has already, to some extent, started rolling out to the stable version with a last week's optional bug fix update for Windows 11 version 22H2. Now, I'm currently in the stable version. Um, this is on a controlled rollout. I haven't received it yet. But what is going to happen um, with this feature is currently, if, if you haven't received the feature like I have, if you hover your um, mouse cursor over the search, nothing happens. And this is where that's going to change. It's actually going to open up the search and when you hover over it, where currently you have to click to open up the search and the search box. And if you right click on your taskbar and you head over to taskbar settings, here underneath chat on your personalization taskbar page, you will see a new setting when that does roll out to you to actually turn on or turn off that um, search fly out when using um, and when you hover over the search box Gleam, as Microsoft is calling it. And as mentioned, that's now made its way into the dev channel. And also, to some extent or the other, is already starting to make its way into the stable version. And that's more or less the uh, key highlights. As I said, not much going on for last week's dev channel build. But over and above that, um, we have a good couple of fixes. And a very important fix that's actually rolled out is they fixed an issue which was causing Explorer.exe not to work in safe mode. Now, Explorer.exe uh, is your taskbar, your start menu, your search, your notification panel, and so on. So that's an important fix rolling out where Explorer.exe, the shell of the computer, was crashing um, when um, in safe mode. So that's now been addressed in the dev channel. And over and above that, we get four fixes for the file explorer. We get an HDR backgrounds fix. And then a good couple of fixes have rolled out for the task manager. And then we've got a couple of known issues for start, search on the taskbar, Windows Copilot. And known issues are common in these preview builds, which Microsoft obviously has to try and iron out before some of these features make their way into the stable version. So that's more or less what's happening in last week's um, latest dev channel build 23531, which Microsoft pushed out late on Friday. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.